even in times of a total pandemic, people will line up to buy crappy food and block traffic that gives instant diarrhea. Don't tell me you cannot sell your product during this time. What's good, man? It's Carpet Mike here from Carpet Expert Blueprint. And yes, people are still lining up to fill themselves with the worst option of food on the planet while the world's melting down, not to mention no toilet paper anywhere. And you're going to line up for that and block traffic? Anyway, to each his own, whatever keeps you happy, go on and get it. I got a cousin, she's really religious, and she was like, I'm not eating any fast food, da 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 da. I was like, I agree with you, I'm not messing around with it either. A couple days later, she was smashing that good Chick-fil-A, and she's like, hey, it's the Lord's chicken, so if it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. So whatever reasoning we got to give, go on and get it there. But in all seriousness, we knocked out another job today. Happy to have another day closed out, paid, everything's good, everybody's healthy still. I hope y'all are staying healthy, staying positive, and mapping out your blueprint to go ahead and succeed wherever you're at throughout this mayhem right now. If you're on lockdown, we need to be mapping out a plan so that when the light switch turns back on, you're ready to dominate and get your money right. If you're allowed to navigate this right now, stay healthy, stay safe, make all the right decisions, keep your team good, because if you get down and out, you're losing anyway. So wherever you're at, make the right choices. Make the best strategic choices. Why don't we dive into the app and see what bad choices I made on investments. And then we'll get on to the jobs that we did today. Holler at me below. Alrighty, so we're going to dive into the Robinhood app because we're making small investments each and every day. And if you're ready to do that, you could do the same. Get a free stock from Robinhood with the link below. But let's actually buy something here. So that had a couple dollars left in the account. We got NRZ. And if you followed me last week, I bought in at five and sold that at 585. Thankfully, I sold at 585 because now it's all the way down to 366. So we're just going to pick up three simple shares of that, spend, you know, $9, $10, whatever that comes out to. It's late on a Friday. I am no longer mathing at the moment. Let's go ahead and see what else we can get into here. What do we got? What do we got? I think I want to get some of that Dixie stock. And uh, yeah, we're on Dixie, 55 cents a share. If you remember earlier, I was buying that at about $1.10. And then I was selling that stuff for about $1.40. So it's way down. So we're going to go ahead and pick up a few shares of this right now while it's way, way down. See if we could have the same luck. And hopefully they don't go bankrupt in the process. Let's go ahead and blow that last little bit of change I have in the account there. I'm going back to that Aquin and gambling hard. OCN, they're straight out of West Palm Beach, Florida. They were all about that subprime lending back in the day, and they are a penny stock for sure nowadays, like 30 cents a share, I think. 32 cents a share. Let's go ahead and see if we can spend the rest of our cash on that. And then next week, I got a couple things in store. First things first. It's going to be with cryptocurrencies. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with that. And then we're going to go ahead and see if I made any smart decisions buying these deep, deep discounts this week or if the discounts are going to keep coming and I just got to double down and keep profiting. Let's check out the job we were on here. Alrighty, so we were in your traditional bungalow and it was great because it was overlooking the McDonald's there from the second story window. So I was able to check in on it periodically throughout the day. And what was fun about that was you got to see that people just don't care and they consistently lined up. Here's what was going on. To the left of the house, you couldn't get a good view from the window so I didn't bother recording it, but there was a Huntington Bank over there. Same exact scenario, rush on the bank. Guys, we got apps we can use. You ain't got to leave your house to go to the bank unless you got to pull your cash out. And that's just going to create a whole nother set of problems. But hey, do you, whatever makes you feel comfortable in this time of uncertainty, get it, get it. Then we had the McDonald's, which I recorded. Chick-fil-A was about a quarter mile down the road from there. And it was straight mayhem. Double lanes, all packed, good to go. Look at that mask I got on my face there too. That thing basically cut off all breathing all and all. So I couldn't even like operate at all. Had to keep catching my breath, but clearly that'll keep any of those boogers out that are out in the marketplace that we don't want to catch. So we doing ahead, we finished out this bungalow. We padded it yesterday, and what was cool about it is we were able to burn up all the pad we had in storage. Ali had to purchase two rolls to wrap up the job. And then we knocked it out today. Client showed up. Client was real respectable of the situation too. What's going on in the marketplace. So, you know, did a quick walkthrough. Yeah, I got your number if there's any problems. Here's your check. Just set it down. He dipped. He's like, lock up when you're done. And that's cool. Everybody has an understanding right now. What's going on? Let's all give each other our space. But let's keep production going if we could do it in a safe manner. So we don't make the economy collapse 
completely. A lot of our friends are out of work already, so we want to keep things moving and shaking so when they go back to work, we can start spending some money with them and help them get back on their feet as well. I'm going to be dropping videos all week, and I got some crazy stuff dropping too. I'm really excited to see if the marketplace likes it or can't stand it, but that's part of being a businessman and an entrepreneur. Just throw stuff out there, and sometimes you're going to fall flat on your face, and sometimes it takes off. Don't be afraid to try new things, especially right now. Get out there, test some things, see what the market says about it, and let's go ahead and move forward. Comment below with any questions. Let me know how you're doing. If you want to shoot me a text direct, by all means do so. You can reach me at 440-678-1151. Thank you so much for connecting, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.